Hello, my name is Garrett Williamson, and this is... Uh, my name is Natalia Araujo, and today I'm here with Karen Vecchio. Hello! And she's actually going to be participating in uh, an upcoming youth forum, I believe, right? Yep. So uh, we have some uh, great questions here uh, for you. Obviously, they might be difficult, so I can't wait to hear your answer. Um, <laughs> all right, so our number one question, would you like to go or do you want me to? I can go. Okay, shoot for the moon. So, Karen, um, how old were you when you realized you had leadership skills? You know, I think I didn't realize what leadership skills really were. But I think about, if I, if I was to reflect, I'd say it was probably on the basketball court and the volleyball court when I was in primary school. So when I was probably in grade six or seven, um, just from playing sports and, and having that natural, you know, enjoyment and, and fun. And I'd say from that point on, I, it's one of those things I realized I could do things. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Well, there you go. I like that question and I like that answer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, for the second question, what made you decide to be a leader in the first place? You know, I don't think I knew I was a leader. I think it's just things that happen and how things progress and how people gravitate towards you. And, and so I, I think, you know, whether it was working on Students' Council or doing what I did today as an MP, it was just being part of groups, working with people. And, and so I think those things just naturally happen. And it's not that I would say, I want to be a leader. I think it's just something that... Uh, that was the path that I was going down. Yeah. Well, that's a great that's answer. Really cool. I really like that. Yeah. Um, what leadership skills do you think are most important? Um, I think one of the most important things is the ability to listen. You have to, if, if we're working in a job, especially as an MP, I represent about 116,000 people across Elgin Middlesex London, and everybody has different views. And the ability to listen and, and to actually engage with people, I think that is something really, really important. A lot of times we, we don't engage. We will think, you know, either black and white or we already have our decisions made up. But I think that's the ability to critically think and, and listen to what other people are thinking is really, really important. Excellent, excellent. Um, when it comes to leadership advice, what do you have for, for students? You know, first of all, find out what your passion is. And for me, I think my passion is people and my community. Those are what my passions are. And so whatever you're doing, uh, you know, they, that old thing about finding what you do and make it a job and then you'll never work a day in your life, it is true. What I'm doing right now as a member of parliament, specifically in my role as a deputy house leader, it's not like going to work every day. I absolutely love it. I love the challenges. And yeah, you live and breathe being an MP, but I would just say find what you love and then you can succeed from that. Excellent. Wow. Another solid answer. <laughs> <laughs> you sound surprised. <laughs> Not at all. Um, and what are the most important decisions you make as a leader? You know, I think uh, that's a really good question. I think sometimes deciding where I stand on an issue. Like right now, we're dealing with some really important legislation. One is medical assistance and dying. We're dealing with things that are really important and making sure that I listen to everybody and that I engage. And so I think um, making sure that I'm taking that information and voting properly or engaging on the certain topics that are important to Canadians, I think that is, is something that you have to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what I really do focus on. Wow. That's wow. really awesome. And what sort of characteristics do you think every leader should possess? Um, there's a broad range. Like right now, if I'm looking as members of the department, there's 338 members of it. Not one of us are exactly alike. We all have come to this as very, very in different individuals. So I think um, that ability to work in a team. One of the most important things is you can't do it by yourself. You need to surround yourself with really good people as well. And so I look at what I do here. I bring so much, uh, so many things to the table that's different than what somebody else may bring. And so I think one of the most important things is, is being authentic. So if you're a leader, be authentic and genuine. Know where you stand um, and, and make sure you're listening and make sure you're, you're a team player. Because, you know, we can all go out there on our own journeys. But if we're actually leading people, you have to make that as a team. Uh, you know, there's not, there's no I in team. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. There's mm -hmm. an I in win, though. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Yeah, I, those are phenomenal answers. Honestly, yeah. I think those will really help the youth and the students uh, for this, you know, just the upcoming future and just, you know, the entrepreneurs or the people that just oh, are yeah. generally working. Like, it's, it's phenomenal. And I think that's some great advice. So thank yeah, you so, so much. Yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Of Love course. you both. All right. <laughs> Have a good one, guys.